Hi guys, I'm standing in Green Park today. It's a nice sunny spring day in London and I thought I would walk from Green Park down Piccadilly with destination Fortnum's and some of the little arcades around there which I think you will enjoy or I hope you will enjoy because there are lovely little luxury shops and yeah maybe also a quick visit to German Street which has some nice shops too so um, yeah let's see what's around and I hope you enjoy this little vlog from good old London town and I'm also going to make a little trip to Bond Street to have a look at the second Louis Vuitton Kusama drop. So stay tuned for that. And I should just tell you guys, so if you walk down this little path, all the way to the bottom of Green Park you actually get to Buckingham Palace so it's a good spot if you want to just see London on foot uh, to start Green Park Just passing the Ritz here and of course very famous for their afternoon tea and I've spoken about it in a previous video I can highly recommend it you guys right next door to the Ritz is the Wolseley also a great destination for afternoon tea or bite to eat So I'm just going to walk down St. James Street because there are some lovely buildings and some nice little quirky old-fashioned shops here so I'll show you what we can see. So you might be able to see that sign just there where it says Beretta. So this is a really old shop. Unfortunately it's completely scaffolded at the moment but it's at the corner of German Street and uh, they've got like um, old-fashioned gear I would say or if you like tartan and countryside stuff that's the place to go they've been there since 1526 you guys also down this road there are a lot of nice places to eat and the place that I'm just standing outside here is called uh, Cafe Murano which is a nice Italian restaurant, really lovely, highly recommend it. I believe it's owned by the chef Angela Hartner, if you know who that is. <laughs> um, but she's a great UK chef. Over there you can also see there's a, like, a nice little quirky shop. And look at this lovely shop, you guys. This is John Lop, which is a bespoke bootmakers. And they became the bootmaker to the Prince of Wales back in 1863. But they've been around for 150 years. So that is some history and a beautiful shop. So why not have a little visit there? And when you're in St. James Street, you must go and see Lock & Co. An absolutely wonderful shop with luxurious hats, 
hats for any occasion and a fabulous heritage too. And of course, a very historical site here in St. James's is St. James's Palace. It was built by Henry VIII back in 1531. So almost 500 years ago, you guys. It is fantastic. One of the many things I love about London are little hidden passages and small walkways. We transport you into the past and this one Pickering Place is really lovely. And here we are in the smallest square in Britain. And, as legend has it, this is the last place in London where a duel was fought. Can you imagine that, you guys? But look how cute it is. And you can sit in the courtyard here and have a nice lunch or dinner when the weather is nice at saint Jacques, which is a lovely French restaurant. My husband and I have dined there before and the food is wonderful, you guys. Now walking on German Street, walking towards Fortnum and Mason's. There are some lovely, lovely shops here and it is really worth a visit. So let's have a look. If you're after the perfect shirt, Turnbull and Acer Limited is your destination. Just on the other side of the road here, another great restaurant, Wilton's Restaurant. Highly recommend. we are Piccadilly Arcade which runs between Piccadilly and German Street and I'm going in via the German Street entrance. It was actually created back in 1909 so also one of the old places in London and the arcade has around 28 shops. If you want something which isn't in your normal shop, the Piccadilly Arcade is definitely a great destination for nice quality clothing, other luxury goods, they've got shoes, there are some lovely jewellery shops. I really recommend because you will probably find something quite unique Here's one of the shoe shops, Jeffrey West. My husband got his wedding shoes there and their shoes are great quality. And Academy nominated Bill Nye, famous British actor, just happened to walk into my video. <laughs> This corner we've got 45 German Street, another great restaurant you guys, give it a go.
And here we are, Fortnum and Masons, the stunning store since 1707. Love it, you guys. Let's go in and have a look. Ah, oh, and I just spotted that they've already decorated their windows to celebrate the coronation of King Charles. How cute is that? Looks like Fortnum's have recreated the animals from their window display in these biscuits. The coronation iced biscuits. Aren't they just cute, you guys? And they also have these other biscuits, which are Scottish heather biscuits. And more biscuits, jam, lots of jam, and more fruitcake. The thing that I love about Fortnum's is the packaging. I know you guys. Everything tastes delicious too, don't get me wrong. But the packaging is second to none. And look at this, I'm a musical tin. It is lovely. Wouldn't you just love to have one of those at home as a me memento for the coronation? Absolutely love it. And this organic tea... Oh, it's cute. It's really pretty. Hmm, I want to buy it all. Of course, Fortnum is particularly famous for their tea. Glorious tea! Who wants a cup of tea? Yes, it is a nice place to have a little bit of afternoon tea too. And now on the first floor where they've got quite a few things for the home. So let's have a look around. This table set with Alice in Wonderland theme. Homeware with Alice in Wonderland cartoons black and white i love this design you guys isn't it just fun really fun uh, by this designer called rory dubner i love it fantastic if i'm ever in doubt what to give somebody for their birthday anniversary or i need a special gift I tend to go to Fortnum, you guys, because there's always something a little bit different here. Something that's got that little design edge. You feel like you're getting a nice quality piece and something that most people maybe wouldn't buy themselves. So yeah, head to Fortnum and Mason's if you need a nice little gift. And of course, Fortnum's is famous 
for their picnic baskets. And look at this new range. Super cute. And if you've watched my channel before, you know I'm a bit crazy about stationery. And Fortnum's have got some lovely notebooks. Cards. Yeah, stationery. Yes, I bought some stationery. <laughs> I was delighted to see that Fortnum's now stock Wolf. It is a truly wonderful brand for jewellery boxes. They have these lovely leather jewellery boxes and they also have other designs in many different colours and it is lovely quality you guys. And this is the design that I love. I have this exact jewellery box myself, you guys, in the green velvet with the embroidery. It is so pretty. My husband gave it to me and I will treasure it forever. If you're interested in a review of my jewellery box, and I also have these little um, boxes for travel, yeah, let me know in the comments, you guys, if you're interested in a bit of a jewellery box review. And I could show you at the same time what I keep inside. So let me know if you're interested in that. Came across this slip pillowcase in silk. I've been looking at these for a while. Yeah, this design really caught my attention. Have you got any slip products? What do you think of them? Why not try out Elizabeth Scarlet's designs? They don't cost a fortune and they make a lovely gift too. I looked at these Anya Hinmarch bags in another shopping vlog and they have the banana, you guys, the little banana pouch. Yeah, I have to say, I really, really think these are fun and quirky. These little raffia items from Anya Hinmarch. Very, very cute and fun. Fortnum's always have a very generous collection of Lorna bags. Uh, I hope that's the way you pronounce the name. But it's a British brand and obviously very famous for the uh, late queen always carrying this handbag. Some lovely colours, you guys. And Fortnum's have their own little 
voyage collection or travel items. I really like this little SLG, nice quality and quite roomy. I think it'll fit quite a few cards. And if you're enjoying this little shopping vlog, please give it some thumbs up love and take a moment to subscribe too. It would mean the world to me. So what did you guys think of my little trip to Fortnum and Mason's? Let me know in the comments below. And as you get out of Fortnum's, just across the street, is the beautiful courtyard of the Royal Academy of Arts. It is a lovely, lovely place, you guys. If you like art, or even if you don't, and you want a little pit stop, a little cup of coffee, a little drink, head over into this courtyard. It is lovely on a sunny day. Next door to the Royal Academy is the Burlington Arcade. Don't miss it you guys. This is an absolutely fabulous arcade which was opened in 1819 in fact and it houses around 51 luxury independent boutiques it is a beautiful arcade with some really stunning gems and the funny story about the burlington arcade which i'll just tell you as i'm walking through here was that it was created by a george cavendish who was the earl of burlington and he commissioned it to create a safe place for his wife and other folks to go shopping because the Earl was really grumpy that his neighbours kept throwing oyster shells into his garden which was the fast food of the time. Can you imagine you guys? But look at some of this lovely, lovely, lovely merchandise. These bags. I love the colour of this one. Isn't that just gorgeous? What do you think? And the Burlington Arcade have got quite a few jewellery shops and you can find an absolutely stunning gem here. I mean, yeah, <laughs> how can you choose you guys? How can you choose? And there's a lovely little Manolo Blahnik shop here as well. Look at these boots. Oh my goodness, you guys. And I like these shoes too. Yeah, so if you need a pair of Blahniks, come here. So make sure you make Burlington Arcade one of your next destinations when in London. Sun is out, guys, and I'm having a little drink at 
it's all round flora in Bond Street. It is really nice in this spot. Lovely and sunny. Bit of a sun trap. Very, very nice. In between it's raining, it's a bit weird. But all in all, a lovely, lovely day. And when you walk New Bond Street, you have to say hello to Roosevelt and Churchill having a little chat on their bench. So I've now got to New Bond Street and yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to have a look. Maybe Louis Vuitton to look at the um, new Kusama drop. I might do that. Let's see what we can see. It's got to be, is it? The Dior windows. New display. Very beautiful. But to be honest, that display always is really, really beautiful. So first a little look in the window and we've got the menswear here with the keyboard with the pumpkin design which I like and the larger size. Yeah it, it's a lovely design these pumpkins I do like it. Would I buy it? Mm, I'm on the fence you guys I'm not so sure that I will. Uh, not keen on this kind of sick looking fish. Um, from the, I think they call it the faces design. Not really so keen on that, I must admit. Uh, pink dots, again. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not so crazy about it. I do like the blue and the white though. And I like the flowers. I was tempted to buy one of the perfumes, you guys, just to have a little something from this collection, but I decided against it in the end, and to be sensible. the Capucines bag which was inspired by Kusama's infinity net paintings. Not for me you guys. Lovely but not for me. Just like in the first drop of this LV Kusama collaboration I think I prefer the designs in the men's collection. What are your preferences? Have you got your eyes on something? Do let me know in the comments below. And I will also link my first video about the Kusama collaboration with Louis Vuitton in the description below. So you can go and watch that too. Thank you for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little shopping vlog. Please give it a thumbs up love. And also take a moment to hit that subscribe notification button so you don't miss out on my future videos. See you in my next one and have a fabulous day wherever you are.